hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine and studying well at home so today i am here for the continuation of the chapter so the chapter is chapter number 4 topic the great indian desert the spotlight of the chapter vegetation and the wildlife of the region and the life of the people in the desert and this video will be our part 2 and those are the things which we are going to cover in this video so let we start so now we have a vegetation due to this scanty rainfall in the desert region the vegetation mostly consists of herbs small plants and thorny bushes some hardy trees which can be bare a dry condition can be seen at the few places the kharji tree grows in the desert regions so due to the scanty rainfall scanty means a very less very less amount of the rainfall will be in the desert region and the vegetation can be fine who can bear which can be bear uh, this type of weather condition only they can be grown over here so some hardy trees can be found over this region that is kharji tree you can see in the image and the herbs and the thorny bushes mostly you can find in the desert now let's talk about the crops grown in the some area of the desert so rajasthan's economy is primarily agriculture and the coastal wheat and the barley are cultivated over the large area has pulses sugarcane and oil seeds cotton and tobacco are the state cash crops so those two are the states of the cash crops of desert area rajasthan is almost the largest producer of edible oils in india and second largest producer of oil seeds so mostly they used to produce the oil seeds over here and cotton and tobacco is the cash crops of this of the area of the desert now we have wildlife animal which can survive harsh weather condition are found in this region the animal which can wear the this type of weather condition that animals only can survive over here the great indian bustards and endangered species in found of in this regions so those are the animals which can be find over in this regions now we have animals found in desert regions wild animals found in the desert regions are mad bugs black bugs cheetah deer dogs geese and hardy camels so those are the animals can be found in the desert regions now we have sheep of the desert camel so let us learn why the camel is called the sheep of the desert the camel is also called the sheep of the desert because it can survive without water for many days so you know the desert is a very lack of water very less scanty of water so the camel can survive for many days without the water and the camel is very suitable for living in the desert so that's why it's called the sheep of the desert also so later on we'll learn about what's the use of the desert and what the uh, sorry what is the use of the camel and what the work they were used to do in the desert area the camel do not sweat and have a pedal feet which help them to walk walk on the sand easily so you can see the feet of the camel how it is and those type of feet will be very fitted for the sandy area 
they can walk in the sandy place very easily now we have use of camel in desert regions now we have the uh, uses why how why the camel is used in desert regions camels are used for carrying loads carrying loads you can see in the picture how the camel is carrying the load pulling the cart you can see how they used to pull the carts and plow the fields while plowing the fields also the camels are used for plowing the fields in the border area the camel are used by the army force for patrolling and guiding the international borders so you can see the how the army is using the camels for the patrolling so those are the uses of the camel in the desert so now we have domestic use of the camel in desert people domesticate camels for milk for milk they used to keep camels the people use camel for the holes meat leather and even dogs which can use for the fuels so camel are kept for their holes milk and meat and leather also for the by leather we can make many things and the dungs whatever the waste products of the camel it is used for making dungs for cooking and for many things they used to use this dungs for um, the fuel cookings and for the burning cases okay now let's read about the people of the desert most of the people in the desert resided in the rulers area only the language spoken are sindhi in the southwest marwari rajasthani and hindi those are the language which is spoken by the desert people and here are the peoples of the deserts now we have nomads people keep moving from one place to another in search of food and water those peoples are called nomads the people who is to move from one place to another in search of foods are called nomads in the normal language we say banjaran and here are the pictures of the nomads they belongs to the banjaran community the nomads are traveling trades and artisans they are also engaged in animals rearing so here are the pictures how the nomads used to move with their cattle animals how they used to live their living habits okay so that's all for today's class see you in the next video and the chapter need to be continue the chapter is very vast so for today's only this much and the in the next video will continue the chapter till then thank you so much and till then stay home stay safe take care